Hey YouTube, it's on Wednesday the 14th of August and it's my latest gaming pickups. Uh, the first two items you see there are from eBay and the first one's um, a limited edition um, copy of Toco Race Driver and apparently this was only given out to the press and it's um, meant, meant to have uh, extra unlocks in the game uh, but as it's sealed I can't confirm that yet. Uh, that came in at £7.95 plus £3 postage and it was a uh, Codemasters release and it was released in 2002. And next one's Towers 2, Plight of the Stargazer, and this one's for the uh, Atari Jaguar. And this was uh, fairly expensive but um, fairly cheap uh, for the game. Uh, it's hard to find this um, at a reasonable price. Uh, this came in at £46.15 uh, with £3 postage and that had uh, 8 bids on it. I can't remember when, when this was released, it's got no release year on the um, on the box itself. But it does come uh, with instructions. Uh, it was released by Telegames. If you can see the screenshots there. So it's obviously like a 3D role playing game. That's just a standard printed instructions, nothing fancy there. And then the cartridge, just a plain uh, printed label. No picture or Jaguar logo on there. And there's no Atari logo along the back there. Uh, the next item is from Game and it's a Resident Evil Extinction. Uh, it's the UMD video and this was just 99p. So rated 15 and it's obviously got Miller Jovovich in it. It was released in uh, 2008. And a few games here from uh, Leicester Market. Uh, we've got three items. Uh, they were priced, well these last, these two here are priced at £4 each. And then this one was, I think it was in the 2 or £3 section. Uh, but they basically gave me all these for £8. Uh, so the first one's Barbarian for the Xbox. And it's uh, by Titus. And it's a wonderful play game. And that was released in uh, 2002. And that comes complete. And then we've got uh, Crouching Tiger Hidden, Hidden Dragon. This is by Ubisoft. And this is a one player game. And that was released in 2003. And that also comes complete. And it's in pretty good condition. There's no scratches on there, which is good. And then we've got Ghostbusters on the Sega Mega Drive, uh, or at least the Genesis version. Um, I've already got the Mega Drive version, but it's uh, lacking in the instructions. So I'm going to just uh, either use this copy if it works on my power, my power machine, or just take the instructions out of this one. So there we go. It's a one player game that was released in 1990. There's some more Leicester Market um, purchases now but from a different store. Uh, all these came in at £12. Now the first one's um, Rocky Legends and it's just the disc but this is the disc um, that I actually got. I think I bought the game from the guy before but he gave me uh, the box and the instructions without the game. I'm uh, pretty sure it was this guy, because I wouldn't, I wouldn't imagine he would have uh, got the disc from someone uh, on its own. So um, anyway, I managed to get that uh, for a pound. Um, I could have argued, I suppose, that I bought the game and it didn't have a disc in it, but um, I'd rather just buy the game, to be honest. A bit, um, I wouldn't have to prove my, myself to him. Uh, Dragon's Lair 3D, uh, Return to the Lair. Uh, another Ubisoft game, and this was £3. And it's a one player game, and that was released in 2002. Uh, Transworld Snowboarding, this came in at £2. This is by Atari. And this is a uh, one to four player game. 
and it was released in 2002. Next we've got one um, I've never seen before, um, it's called uh, Mojo and it's by Dreamcatcher and uh, Farsight Studios. This came in at £2, as you can see it's sealed. Uh, it's a 1-4 to four play game and it's, uh, it was released in 2003. And I actually got two extra copies of this because the guy said, oh I've got, I've got two extra copies of this, are you interested? I said, oh are they sealed? He said, yeah. And I thought, oh, so why not? The two pound each. Um, so these are going to be up for trade, or I might try and sell them on. Uh, if any of you guys are interested out there, just let me know. See your copies of Mojo for the Xbox. Uh, some charity shops finds now. Uh, these are from uh, the Cancer UK charity shop in Leicester, and they're all Xbox games, and they all came in at a pound each. And they're all football games. FIFA Sports, um, well EA Sports FIFA Football 2005. It's a one or a one to four play game. It was released in uh, 2004. It's got the EA leaflet in there as well as the instruction manual. Then we've got a FIFA Streets by EA Sports Big. And that's a 1 to 4 play game that was released in 2005. Looks like that one comes without the instructions. So I'll probably pick that up later uh, at another later date. Uh, the Celtic Football Club 1888 2003-2004 uh, season club football. This is by Codemasters. It's a 1 to 4 play game and that was released in 2003. And then the last one here is England International Football 2004 edition. This is by Codemasters. And this is also a 1 to 4 play game. It's an official um, FA licensed product. And that was released in 2004. Some more um, Leicester Market pickups. So these are from Big Gav's store. Uh, stall and he gave me these for two pound each. So the first one's for the Game Boy Advance, and it's a uh, James Pond uh, code name Robocod, published by Play It, and it's released in a uh, 2004, and I believe it's a one-player game. Yeah, the cart and it also came with the instructions next one's a Nintendo GameCube game uh, I thought it was going to be more than two pounds to be honest it had no stick on it uh, I thought it would have been at least uh, four or five pound if not more and it's uh, Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg this is by Sega uh, developed by the Sonic team and this is a wonderful uh, simultaneous player game and it's also Game Boy Advance compatible. Just trying to find a release date on the back. Can't see one there. Looks like it was released in uh, 2003. That's Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. Next we've got um, Rambo 3 for the Sega Mega Drive. And this is a one or two player game and this was released in 1988, 1989 sorry. Uh, so without the instructions so I'm going to look out for those at a later date. But those are uh, good pickups. £2 each. Next we've got our Game World Purchases. And the first one you see there is um, a Sony PS1 mouse. And this came in at uh, 7 99 I've never used one of these yet. Uh, I think I've got a few games that might um, use it. I'm pretty sure they have to be compatible. Um, I've got um, Populous I think. So look forward to playing that with the mouse. 
Next is the music CD. It's um, Terrorvision's Good to Go. That was just one ninety nine. I've not heard any of the songs on that one yet, so looking forward to listening to that one. It's a band I've seen in concert at Rock City. Xbox game, The Sims, um, three ninety nine by EA Games. And that was released in 2003. Game I've already got, but it's, um, it was without the instructions, so I've now got the instructions. Procast Sports Fishing Game, that was 3 99 And then a Atari 2600 game, very, very rare I'll pick these up. Um, it's very hard to find these in a uh, decent nick. This one's in pretty con good, uh, good condition, as you can see. It's called Vanguard, and it's uh, a shoot em up game. And it was released in 1987, and this was a uh, 7.99. You can see very good condition. So they got the instructions in there as well. Not even any dog ears on that, which is very nice. Then we've got an Xbox game, Blazing Angels Squadrons of World War II by Ubisoft. This was a 3.99, and it's a one or two player game, and that was released in 2006. And then we've got a um, Nintendo GameCube game, um, IAS 2 uh, International Superstar Soccer 2, and that was just 50 pence, absolute bargain. Uh, it's one or uh, one to four player game, simultaneous. That was released in 2002. And then the last game is a game I've already got, uh, but it, this one came sealed and it's a pretty reasonable price, so I intend to uh, keep this one uh, as a, a future investment, really. And this is um, the Xbox 360 um, Aliens vs. Colonial Marines Collector's Edition. And that was 17.99. Uh, so that's my gaming picks for, pickups for today. Um, thank you guys for watching. Leave your comments below. I'll see you soon.